So, Christmas oh. is merely days away, and um, we're going to make some... Better thing to make than eggnog. Exactly. So we're going to do that with our fancy new blender. This is the Deluxe Blender. Um, pretty cool, the stuff that we've been playing around with at Italy. So turn it on, and uh, we'll just start throwing. We've got everything measured out here already. So two cups of milk. It says whole milk. We don't buy whole milk. We buy 1%. So that's what we're going to use. We just add it in there. Six large egg yolks. So Dallas has already separated everything. Um, separate them very that good. One she make, yeah, that's all right. Two very last ones. So, and Dump these are in. from our own chickens. They finally started laying again. So, and yep. not Dump anymore. them in there. Ooh, Ooh splutter spotter. Half cup sugar. Yeah, I, I can take the dirty dishes and put them by the dishwasher. Cup of sugar. We need a half teaspoon of nutmeg. Good enough. We're all about uh, approximates. <laughs> uh, half quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla. There you go. And this is the uh, this is Pampered Chef. Actually, they're only selling this till the end of of uh, December. This Pampered Chef. Double strength Madagascar bourbon pure vanilla extract. So you only Good have to stuff. use half half of because it's double strength. So that's and it. Pop a little hole in the top so that it doesn't come squirting everywhere. That's Dallas's tip of the day. Okay. So I don't know. This. That's probably good. Oh, she's doing a whole. So it's going to ah! be really good in vanilla. Which you know what? I like vanilla. Don't stick it, Dallas. That sounds good. <laughs> and a pinch of salt. Hey. Make sure the lid's on. Good enough. Okay, so all ingredients are in there. Egg whites we save for a little bit later, and if you're going to add rum to it as well, you save that for when you put the uh, the this egg is whites. Child friendly eggnog. And it's child friendly. We're not going to add rum to it. And you also you add some a whole like some whipping it, cream in it, but yeah. we'll do that after. So okay, we've got all of them in there. We put the lid on our uh, smart blender. You might have to zoom in here a little bit, Dallas. Do you want to zoom in? Can you zoom into the? Can you see? No. Oh no, you can't. In. You can't. You might have to just bring the whole thing over. Bring the phone off. Okay. I'm gonna. Uh. And we're going to set our blender to. Oh. If you look down okay. there. Okay, hold on a second. There I'm we go. Look. There. There. We'll okay. turn it to what sauces. It? I got okay. it. Okay. I'm gonna turn it to sauces. Right there. See, we can adjust it to um, whatever blend we want. We want it on sauces. Where's the sauces? There. Right there. Okay. Right there. So then, just make sure everything's on here right. And we press start. You ah. have, and then it's going to start heating up. We can tell. Go back there, guys. Bring it back. Oh, yeah. 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 Back there, Such high maintenance. Uh, our videographer. All right, perfect. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's so good it's gonna enough. do, and, and it'll it'll it says it's heating, and we want it to heat up to uh, 165 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's gonna tell us the temperature's going up here. It's gonna tell us. I had to switch. You can switch it from Celsius to Fahrenheit, and. Uh, I think it's on Fahrenheit now, but um, when it gets to about, when it gets to 160, I'm going to add the egg whites so that they kind of cook into it so we don't get sick from salmonella. And uh, yeah, then we'll add that and then we'll add the cream when it gets to where it's going, when it gets to 165 and the rum if we're adding it and then, uh, and then we'll let it cool. But anyway, we'll... Uh, We'll magically zip over to there with the, uh, we'll fill you in when it gets to there, closer to that. All right, so we are at 68 degrees, um, 69 degrees, that would be in Celsius, so I've got it, <laughs> I had to convert. So at 70 degrees Celsius, which is about 160 Fahrenheit, we're going to pause the uh, blender, the cycle, the sauce pause. cycle, and uh, we'll add the egg whites, and then they can... Uh, Kind of cook a little bit in there so we don't get salmonella. Not that our chickens have salmonella. Nope. But we're going to do that. 
Um, so yeah, this is all it's been doing. It kind of mixes. Oh, there's seven. You want to pause it, Dallas? Just click this. Yep. And then that pauses oh, it. It's paused. And then we'll just take the lid off of here and add the egg whites. There we go. Okay, put it back on, and the temperature drops. Uh, there. Okay, you can then start again. It dropped down to 62, but it'll heat her back up. And cook it again, and we will stop it again at uh, 60, 165, which is 73 degrees Celsius. And when it gets there, we'll add our whipping cream, and then we'll, uh, we'll shut off the cycle. So, yeah. All right, it's at 72 degrees. Oh, 71. Yeah, it's down to 71. You want to, I want to make sure it doesn't go past 73, 165, and it'll scal start scalding if it starts doing that. Um, so, yeah, we'll just hit, we'll pause it, and then we'll hit cancel. Just, this has got a message on it. There we Hi, go. Mom's hand. Oh, I can see that on the other side. So, 72. And... Yeah, so it keeps doing that, but I noticed that we did, made one batch last night and it was just starting to scald, so um, that's why it's pretty important to keep it at 165 Fahrenheit and not past, which according to my calculations. 72, is that close enough to 73? Sure. Okay, so let's don't just hit pause first, maybe. Pause it to stop the cycle. There's 73, now you hit cancel, and then we uh, take this off here, and then Dallas, can you pour the whipping cream in? We've measured out a cup of uh, oh, heavy whipping cream. Can she do it without spilling? Oh, no. not so bad. I got skills. And then we are going to pulse it until, let's put the lid on me. Pulse means you just hold it down until it's blended and thick. So I give her, Dallas. It's actually got a timer on there that tells you how long you're doing it for. So you do it for like 30 seconds. Okay. You know, <laughs> test of thumb strength or finger strength. God knows. So that's good for up to a week. So we made a batch last night. This is all that's left. Uh, oh, also when you add the whipping cream, if you're gonna put some rum in it, you can put it in then or uh, at the beginning. Or at the or you can do it now if we want to add it to here. I guess you could. But Dallas has a few years to go, so we're just gonna have it straight it's up. Child friendly. Um, garnish with video. cinnamon. I thought I had cinnamon sticks. I don't. But cheers. Merry Christmas to all of you, Cheers. and uh, all the best for next year. Again? Yeah. <laughs>